What's up guys, I am Constant and today we are going to be talking about what I believe is one of the biggest problems going into Shadowlands and how it can be solved. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and when Shadowlands drops, I will be returning to my daily stream schedule. These are the current numbers on server population for both the US and EU. These numbers shouldn't be too alarming, but they do make it very clear that there are noticeably more active players on the Horde than there are on the Alliance for both regions. If this is new information to you, this should be alarming. This is from WoW Progress, and it shows the top 100 guilds in the world. As you can see, there's not too much blue up there because this list is 87% Horde. But unfortunately, it's actually much worse than that. This list has Club Camel of Storm Rage as the number one U.S. Alliance guild. It's also the only U.S. Alliance guild that even makes the top 100 list. I have to admit, I started this video out wearing a different shirt, and I had to put my Alliance shirt on just to show a little bit of support because this is pretty rough. So Club Camel, the third Alliance world, third U.S. guild, and first U.S. Alliance guild has transferred to Area 52 on the Horde. When asked about the transfer, a member of Club Camel said that they had explored all available options for staying on the Alliance, but if they wanted to continue to improve their guild, they simply needed to go Horde. This is a problem. So you might be thinking, this really isn't going to affect me. But whether you play Alliance or Horde, it will have some impact on you. If you play on the Alliance and you do any PvE progression between high keys or even heroic raiding, the impact of this is going to be felt. Take Mythic Raiders out of the equation and heroic raiding becomes as rare as Mythic is right now. We've already seen just how important raiding is going to be for anyone who's trying to stay at the top tier of gear in Shadowlands, and as this gets worse, more and more people are going to be faction transferring from the Alliance to the Horde. Now, the negative consequences of this for the Horde are much less about progression and more about the general feel of the game. And at least in my opinion, this game becomes much less enjoyable when you have only one faction available to you if you actually want to progress in Endgame. Just think about it like this. Let's say that you really want to get into Mythic rating. You are willing to put in the time and the effort and you believe that you have the skill to be a top tier Mythic Raider. Which faction are you going to roll? Now, just based on the numbers, it is going to be considerably easier for you to find a raiding guild on the Horde than on the Alliance. Now, 88%, at least, of top-tier raiding guilds are on the Horde. And think about this from a guild perspective. You lose people here and there as a raiding guild, and you need to be able to replenish your guild with the best players available. Horde Mythic Progression Raiders outnumber Alliance Mythic Progression Raiders by more than 7 to 1, and this is a big problem. And it might seem like it's one that just simply couldn't be solved, but there are some really good ideas and solutions floating around out there that are at least worth discussing. This post from the World of Warcraft subreddit touches on the faction imbalance issue and how Shadowlands could be the perfect opportunity for Blizzard to do something about it. Covenants could provide a new faction system that could dictate PvP teams in Shadowlands with Battlegrounds still adhering to the traditional Alliance versus Horde system. Guilds could be more competitive when they have players from both factions available to them, and hypothetically, looking for group queue timers would decrease. Now, this response is actually the main reason that I included this post in this video. Allow the faction conflict to remain, but give players the choice to choose who they want to group up with for PvE content. Leaders like Jaina, Thrall, Bane, Anduin, and Valera are all able to cross party lines, but for some reason players aren't able to, despite the fact that these faction leaders are supposed to perpetuate the hatred between the factions. The majority of us are no longer grunts or foot soldiers. Now, we've killed demons, old gods, titans, dragons, you name it. I think that we've more than earned the right to decide who we want to group up with for PvE content. Now, I don't know if I'm fully on board with this whole killing members of your own faction thing at the bottom of this response, but mostly just because I feel like that is something that people would really take advantage of and it would create entirely new problems in World of Warcraft. 
being able to play with members of both factions would be extremely beneficial to WoW in its current state and also for the long-term health of the game. The lore no longer has to be limited to Alliance versus Horde, and I think that that would open us up to a lot of new possibilities with the lore. PvP can be more accessible without losing that Alliance versus Horde vibe when a player is specifically looking for that. And most importantly, it gives players more options in a game that has become a significant part of a lot of people's lives. Don't get me wrong, this would be a very difficult feat to implement this well, even more difficult for it to be implemented perfectly, but it has the potential to greatly increase the overall enjoyability of this game. Every player should be able to choose what faction they want to play without it potentially limiting them as to what their options are later on. While there are some people who have absolutely no problem switching between factions because to them, it's just a color on a game, there are some people who just can't identify with one of the two factions. Taking out player choice is unnecessary, and if faction leaders have the option to set aside their differences and come together to fight against a common enemy at least once every expansion, players should be able to do the exact same thing. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and check me out on Twitch. Let me know how you feel about the faction imbalance in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.